What are you doing, Josh? I'm doing shipping right now. It's been a whole bunch of packages for the end of the year. Um, Stace usually does this job, but I get to do it today. <laughs> it's always interesting to see the different places we ship to. For example, this package is going to Phoenix, Arizona. I think I have one going to New York, one going to Canada, and then another one going to, I think, California. But yeah, pretty, pretty neat to see how far it's come. I am laminating um, some lettering that will go on um, a van that we have for an order that we have to ship to. I'll have to ship that out today. So I'm going to finish laminating it and then I will cut out the lettering and the striping uh, for Jordan to tape and get ready to ship out. Caitlin, we're going to do a little quiz for these two. Um, Trey, as you all know, he raced his sprint cars out at Eagle Raceway and other different tracks. Um, so the question is going to be, which car is faster? A 410 sprint car or a 360 sprint car? Let's, let's let Caitlin go first. Um, I'm going to guess a 360. Well, Trey won that one. You were very good com contestant here. Boy, Always you, has a smile but you've on gotten face. really thin all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Gropp, which is Trey's dad, um, they're racing down at the Tulsa Shootout this coming week. Well, they're going to be heading down before, um, or yeah, before the Eagle Raceway banquet. Well, Matt wanted. Matt asked him, you know, is Trey going to win any awards? They said yes. So kind of as a funny thing is this way he can get his pictures with the awards at the banquet. So what we did is did a cardboard cutout of Trey. He came here about a week ago, got some pictures. Um, as you can see how realistic he looks. Um, the one thing I always tell customers is the higher the image quality, the better the image. The one thing about these type of the prints and come over here, you can see we take a piece of coroplast and cut it out but they actually start, you know, like this. And what it is, is you trim around tray. We have the gray background, which was a wall he was standing behind. And you get it as close as you can. Um, the closer you get and don't show a wall, the more realistic it looks. But this, you don't need the super expensive vinyl. This is just done in our 3640. I am setting up um, an install for um, Crobdom and Sun Masonry. They have a van, so they're going to get some decals set up on there. What we're doing now is getting an install sheet for the installers so they can see what's going on the van or the vehicle. It'll have all the order information on there and then they have time or a spot that they can mark all of their time and who did what and removals and stuff like that. So nice way to keep it organized. And 